today on Florida Sport Fishing. Oh yeah, he's just crushing it. Beautiful fish. Tastes like lobster. I got you. Oh, I got you. Yeah, you got him that time. See the spot on the end there? That's a good one right there. That's dinner right there, baby. Tile fish. Ho ho, what on? CB Boats presents Florida Sport Fishing, television for the avid angler. Powered by Mercury Marine. There's a sailfish, already got a bite. Ridiculous. Another one on, another one really? on. <laughs> Woo! Nice, that's what it's all about right there. Yeah. Oh, look at that, look at that. Florida Sport Fishing utilizes and proudly endorses Ghost, the global leader in boat security, monitoring, tracking, and surveillance. VMC, tired of missed strikes? Fish the hooks the pros fish. Fish VMC. Fortress, the world's best anchor. Stronger, faster, lighter. Motor Guide, the most dependable trolling motors on the water. And Stingray Tackle, shop where the pros shop. Shop at stingraytackle.com. We're up here off Deerfield doing a little bit of tile fishing in 425 feet of water. It's a long way down. Got one coming. Started off the day doing some slow trolling that didn't come together. So we decided to come out here, give this a whirl, and drift across some mud banks out here for these gray tiles. Some guys call them blue line tiles. A lot of work, but worth it. There you are. I see you coming now, pal. Beautiful fish. Tastes like lobster. Look at that little circle hook, little VMC circle hook right in the corner of his mouth. Small cousin to the golden tile fish. You can see that little blue line, hence the name blue line tile. And they just live down in the mud. They burrow right into the mud. Pick off little shrimp, clams. One of the best eating fish in the ocean right there. And we're gonna throw this guy on ice and drop down another 400 feet, see if we can catch another one. I just hit bottom. Oh, you did? Yeah. Right now we're drifting at just over a knot. Got some southwest, west wind pushing us off the beach here. And just drifting across this whole area. There's some muddy banks out here and that's what these tile fish prefer is that mud. Unlike a snapper, a grouper that likes that hard bottom, that reefy structure, these fish prefer that soft substrate, the mud. You can catch these tile fish all up and down the East Coast here. Anywhere from, oh, let's say 375 to about 650 feet. Just fishing some squid that we got our hands on from Bionic Bait. The key is really just some specialized tackle. We've got some Daiwa Saltiste 50 reels, high speed, 6.4 to 1 gear ratio. Absolutely crucial when you've got to reel up a fish or reel up to check your bait from 450 feet down. Eight foot rod from Chaos, super light titanium guides, composite rod, graphite and fiberglass for both sensitivity and strength. An ultra, ultra thin 20 pound diamond braid. That's probably the most important factor in this entire equation. Oh, just hit the bottom there, is that line. You cannot do this with monofilament line. Just stretches too much, it's too, too thick. Oh, there's a bite right there. Oh, he's crushing it. Yep, still eating it. And what I'm gonna do is just ease that line out right there and I'm gonna let him eat that bait. Oh yeah, he's just crushing it. Tighten up. Oh, there he is. And this isn't something you're gonna do every day, that's for sure, as you can see, it's, it's a workout. I'll be here for about 10 minutes reeling this up. But when nothing else is coming together, it's a great plan B, that's for sure. And a great way to put some really tasty fish in the, on the dinner table. And it's a lot of fun, something different. You know, again, you're not gonna crank manually from over 400 feet every day, all day. And these fish will average, unlike, you know, the golden tiles that'll reach 50 pounds, these gray tiles average, I would say, three to six pounds. I've caught them up to about 10, but those are monsters. 
couple key things that are really important. Number one of those circle hooks is VMC circles. You're not gonna set the hook on a fish over 400 feet down. You need that circle hook. You feel that bite, just like you watched me there, you let them eat it, lock up, just reel up the slack, and boom, that circle hook will catch that fish right in the corner of the mouth every time. There he is, I can see him down there now. That's a better one. A little bit. Yeah. Look at that, see that circle hook right there, like I said, right in the corner of the mouth every time. Day savers, that's what I call these. You call them day savers? Day I savers. call them delicious. That's right. <laughs> Beautiful fish though, the colors are just absolutely magnificent. Really cool eyes, little purple on the face there. That's dinner right there, baby. Tile fish. The Mercury Verado, outstanding corrosion protection, proven reliability. Yeah. And it comes with all this. Meet Tom from Customer Support. Whoa, he's a hugger. Huh? Not really into that, Tom, thank you. This is Nick from Field Testing, runs these babies thousands of hours. They're solid. Nick? This is Cheryl, and Bobby, our prop engineer. He turns horsepower into performance. Oh, and the rest of the gang's here. It's good to have Mercury behind you. Meet the rest of the team at mercurymarine.com. Tom. The hugger. The secret's out. Start with brine and bite. The only brine that infuses proven bite stimulants into any rigged bait. Procure badass bait dyes are next. And bring Ballyhoo to life with vibrant fluorescent colors. Seal the deal with Procure's new bloody tuna oil and watch your catch ratio soar. Inshore and offshore, Procure bait scents and badass bait dyes keep you hooked up. Find Procure at your favorite dealer or call 800 Procure for a free catalog. Looking for an elegant showpiece for your home, business, or yacht? Crystal Glass Company creates exquisite fine art glass for homes, restaurants, and luxury yachts. Dazzle guests with incomparable quality and detail, etched, carved, or painted on glass or mirror. Add LED lights for a stunning result. Design a custom piece to commemorate a trophy catch, or let our artist handcraft a piece of fine art glass just for you. Visit crystalglasscompany.com and prepare to be inspired. Chaos is tragic. Chaos can be awesome. Yo, another one on, another oh! one on. Three on, baby! <laughs> With Chaos Fishing, it's your rod your way. Quality components and personalized service from a legendary builder equal the right rod at the right price every time. Shop online for a complete selection of serious fishing equipment. Or visit Chaos's new superstore and receive a free t-shirt with every rod purchase. Chaos Fishing, gear matters. Got another one on here. It feels like a little bit of a bigger fish. Hey, we're up here off Deerfield, deep dropping for tile fish, 425 feet of water. Stick around, we're gonna take a quick break, check out our rigging station and take a closer look at the tackle that we're fishing today. We'll be right back. Rigging Station, presented by Diamond Fishing Products, makers of the finest monofilament and braided fishing line in the world. Hey guys, we're out here deep dropping for tile fish today out in 450 feet of water and I wanted to take a, a quick break from the action and just talk to you a little bit more about the type of tackle that we're fishing. This is really extreme bottom fishing. We're fishing multiple hook rigs 450 feet below the surface right on the bottom with anywhere from uh, 16 ounces, 24 ounces of lead. Uh, some days you may even have to fish 3 pounds of lead depending on the conditions that you're faced with. However, in order to do this effectively, you really need some specialized tackle. We've got a custom eight foot chaos rod, a composite rod. It's very light, made out of graphite, but it also is a manufactured of fiberglass as well. And that provides this stick with plenty of backbone. It's stiff, you've got plenty of backbone, but it's got a soft tip, which is essential for detecting strikes so far away from the boat. The rod is matched to a Daiwa Salty size 50 reel, a high speed reel, 6.4 to one gear ratio. Essential when you're reeling up so much line from such great depths. Additionally, the line could very well be the most important part of this equation. You cannot do this fishing effectively with monofilament. It just stretches too much and it's just too thick. You just can't do it right. You need braid. We've got our saltiste reels loaded with 
20 pound diamond braid. Super thin, but also super sensitive and really strong. You're not gonna break this stuff, that's for sure. I've got hundreds and hundreds of yards of line on the reel, plenty of capacity, plenty of breaking strength, but that sensitivity is probably the most important factor. Being able to detect those strikes so far away from the boat is essential. The rig is pretty simple. You can purchase deep drop rigs right off the shelf at your local tackle shop. I prefer to rig my own, a four hook, you know, a rig. I've got 5.0 VMC circle hooks. They grab those fish in the corner of the mouth every time. You need the circle hooks. You're not going to set back with a J hook and hook these fish. It just doesn't work that way. As I mentioned earlier with the lead, we're you know, able to get away with 16 ounces today, but make sure that you go out well prepared. Everything from 10 ounce sinkers, 20 ounce sinkers, 24, 36 ounce sinkers. You know, you never know exactly what you're gonna need depending on the velocity of that current and the wind. And finally, you need a light source. I've got a little Lingren Pittman strobe right on here. These tile fish and a lot of these deep water predators, they hunt by smell, but also by sight. And they hone in on that strobe light flashing out in the distance. They swim up to it. They get a whiff of your a squid or whatever other type of bait that you're fishing, and boom, you're hooked up. What you gotta do is keep scoping it out here. They're flying with this current. Just about a knot and a half, and you've got to keep that, that presentation right on the bottom in the strike zone. These fish will not come off the bottom. I mean, literally, if they swim two feet off the bottom, I'd be surprised. So as you're drifting along, you've got to just keep your thumb on the spool and just keep easing it out. Make sure that sinker just stays in touch with the bottom. It's not as simple as just dropping it down and hoping for the best. You can come out here and do this with electric rod and reels or power assist equipment. We've had excellent success doing that as well. But this manual gear is a little bit more sporting and really, really sensitive with this 20 pound diamond braid. You can just, you can feel everything. Surprisingly from, you know, 400 feet away with 16 ounces of lead, a pound of lead, that's what we're fishing on here. You can still feel every bite. We've got a sea anchor out to help slow us down just a little bit and keep the boat sideways so we can both fish without getting tangled. Oh, there's a bite, there's a bite right there. Oh yeah, he's eating it right now. He's eating it right now. I'm just gonna let out some line. Lock it up. There he is right there. That's a good one right there. Right away or not? Right away. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a good one right there. When you get a good bite like that, right away, that's, Look that's, at that. that's a nice oh, feeling. Oh man, he doesn't want to come off the bottom. I see color. He's spinning. Man, I got a long way to go. I almost ripped the hook out of his mouth. Too much Cuban power. Remember, he's pulling up 16 ounces of lead well over a hundred yards of braid, a four hook chicken rig, deep drop rig, and a fish. High performance hulls designed for speed, comfort, and durability. Custom features and accessories designed for every taste. Brilliantly engineered machine designed to catch more fish. Presenting the remarkable lineup from CB Boats. Secure any size boat simply and safely with a self adjusting tide slide mooring system. Tide Slide's vertical movement absorbs any motion and allows your boat to be securely held in place while the wind, waves, and tide do their thing. Easy to install, maintenance free, and hurricane proven. Take the guesswork out of conventional tie ups and eliminate slack lines forever. Tide Slide, safe, simple, and secure. Tired of empty coolers? Book an overnight trip aboard the 100 foot Yankee Captains to the world famous Dry Tortugas and catch trophy snapper, grouper, king mackerel, and more. 
fishing these rich waters for 25 years, let Captain Greg Mercurio and his dedicated crew put you on a hot bite. Fish around the clock or relax on the spacious upper deck. With full galley and huge fish boxes, the only thing you'll need to bring is your appetite for action. Now sailing from Key West, Florida, year-round. Introducing Sea Deck, a shock absorbent non-skid material manufactured from UV protected foam specifically formulated for marine applications. Sea Deck's comfortable and durable surface protects your deck, reduces noise, and improves the look and value of any boat. Available in a range of colors, Sea Deck is fully customizable and easy to apply with a marine grade peel and stick adhesive. Visit SeaDeck.com for a complete line of retail products. Surprisingly affordable, incredibly versatile. We're back. It's still cranking. I like deep dropping. Not only do you catch great eating fish, but it's an absolutely awesome tactic for a weekend too when their boat traffic is just horrendous. Fish down there four or five hundred feet, eight hundred feet, they're not affected by the boat traffic. I got color. Come on. Man, he felt like he was ten times that big. Maybe the other one came off. <sighs> I mean, not a bad one, but he really fought like so much harder. Ugh. All that work for that thing. Look at that. Some awesome fish. Real crushers in there. Sharp little teeth. It's for eating clams and shrimp, worms. Service and repair. Presented by Pelagic High Performance Offshore Gear. Official apparel of Florida Sport Fishing TV. While successful days on the water are certainly the ultimate goal, getting to and from the fishing grounds as fast and as efficiently as possible is more important than ever. Whether you're a tournament pro or weekend warrior, your engine's propeller is exactly where peak performance and maximum efficiency all come together. Where technology meets the water. Where power becomes performance. While comprehending the basic science behind thrust and momentum will help you understand the importance of utilizing the correct size and pitch propeller, knowledge alone doesn't solve the age-old problem of how to select the perfect prop that best suits your needs and meets your expectations, regardless of what brand engine you're running. Mercury Marine, manufacturer of the best-selling propellers in the world, has solved the problem by creating an easy-to-use online module where boat owners can narrow down the perfect prop in five simple steps. Start by visiting mercurymarine.com to learn more about the latest innovations in modern propeller design, like the Flow Torque 2 system. With Flow Torque 2, Mercury propellers now become compatible with and can increase the performance of almost all marine engines. Also check out the Performance Vent System, an exclusive Mercury innovation that allows you to custom tune the venting of your propeller blades, giving you the power to adjust your propeller to the precise way that you boat. Finally, take a peek at X7 Alloy a revolutionary proprietary alloy from Mercury that shatters the rules of propeller design. X7 alloy is 30% stronger and four times more durable than conventional stainless steel. To complete the process, select Propeller Selector under the Propellers tab in the top toolbar. By answering a few simple questions, you'll be presented with one or more options best suited for your particular application, regardless if you're running a Mercury, Yamaha, Suzuki, or Honda outboard. Selecting the perfect prop is now easier than ever. I got one that was peeking and he took it. I just don't know how big he is. They all feel about the same weight until you get them about 100 feet from the boat. So, but I think he might be decent. Yeah, he's got some color. Yeah, give me a fatty, come on. Nice big fatty. You gotta be careful when you're bringing them up. I almost lost them. See the lip? Kinda messed up. That's too much pressure on him. Don't wanna do that. So I got kind of lucky on this one. That is what they want right there. Oh boy. This is what gets them going. Doesn't really get me going too much. As long as it gets them going, that's all that matters. Are you ready to get hooked up? Whoa! Florida Sport Fishing is the number one resource for the latest tips, tricks, tactics, and techniques for inshore and offshore. Each issue is jam-packed with useful articles, easy-to-follow illustrations, and award-winning photography. Only $30 for two years. For immediate home delivery, visit floridasportfishing.com slash TV. Subscribe today and receive a free shirt and Florida Sport Fishing Hoorag. 
What if navigating was as simple as touch and go? It is that simple. The world's first multi-touch MFD chart water, Navnet TZ Touch. Are you afraid of swirling, burning, or scratching your finish with a power buffer? Want to restore that showroom shine to your car, boat, or RV? Introducing Surehold's award-winning Dual Action Polisher. Right out of the box, you'll polish like a pro. Traditional buffers spin on one axis, while Surehold's Dual Action Polisher oscillates in a varying orbit across two axes, protecting your finish while providing a professional shine every time. For a dealer near you or to buy online, visit Surehold.com. Florida Sport Fishing has been proudly presented by Hooker Electric, the ultimate fishing reel. Tropic Trailer, Florida's largest dealer has the right trailer at the right price. Fishity, the maps to plan, the tools to catch, the option to brag. Ocean LED, the only choice in underwater lighting. And Frigid Rigid, from 35 to 300 quarts, the finest coolers and freezers on the water. Hey guys, we're tile fishing here. Doing a little bit of deep dropping, just over 400 feet deep for blue line tiles. We're off of Deerfield Beach. However, you can catch these. You can catch them down in the Keys. You can catch them up the East Coast here. A little three pound blue line tile. He hit the top bait too. Yep, See hit that? the top bait, which is That's really rare, odd. Though. You must have had your line scoped out. Get back up in here. Nice healthy fish. Beautiful. One of the prettiest fish right there. Remember, you want that hook fully exposed. Nice strip on there. Throw a head on there for good luck. Other baits look all right. Got them that time. Oh, I got one. Do you? Oh, there yeah. We this will just come over a bunch. Hey, if you'd like to uh, get in on this tile fishing in your neck of the woods, you need to start by studying a local chart, a paper chart that reveals the makeup of the bottom of the substrate. You know, and that chart will indicate if it's rocky, reefy, muddy, and that's what you're looking for, those mud banks out in the deep. Like I said earlier, these fish will burrow burrow head first into a little like cave but it's got to be soft you know they can't do that in a hard bottom so you've got to fish those muddy areas and do some experimenting if you go out and you drift over an area and you don't catch them on the first drift make a little wiggle move over a hundred yards try it again believe it or not sometimes just a little small move can make a huge difference same things happening here today we're hooking, where are we, 427. 90, 95% of the bites that we've had have been between 420 and 430 feet. Any shallower than that, nothing. Deeper than 440, you won't get a bite. It's weird, but they know. They're down there in that one little alley. Yeah, that one's a good one right there. That is a grown one. And that's it. That's tile fishing, baby, manually cranking 400 feet. Electrics eat your heart out. Oh, he's hooked good. Not a bad one, not a bad one at all. I find it extremely rewarding to be able to target a fish so far below. You know, you need that right tackle, the right mindset, patience, the right bait, and a reward, while it may not be a giant billfish or a big dolphin or whatever, it, it's certainly still rewarding. That whole challenge of being able to target a specific species and go out there and capture it under adverse conditions. I got you, I got you, oh, I got you. Oh yeah, you got him that I got time, him. Bubba. I got that one. That should look cool. I'm gonna go up for another drift here. I'm just using my chart plotter, and as you can see, We've done maybe eight or 10 drifts over the same avenue, we'll call it. And those fish are holding between 420 
and 430, 435. And as you can see right now, we're in 441 feet. And we'll go up, set up in about 410, 415, drift across that bank again, and get bites again. So we're bringing up one of the nibblers down there now. Well, that's a decent one. It's a decent one. Yeah, buddy. That'll work. That's dinner table. All right. They are pretty fish, though. Check that out. You can see spots on their tail. See the spot on the end there? That's pretty neat. Very, very cool looking fish. <laughs> God, they're delicious. Looks like these conditions, again, have changed. The wind has flopped out even more. The currents dropped off. Right now, we're practically just pretty much sitting in one spot, just drifting at about 0.1 knot. Zero. Which is pretty much the kiss of death. So we've got a few more baits. We're gonna stick it out, see if we can catch a few more tiles. All in all, solid day. We uh, didn't exactly find what we were looking for, slow trolling, only found one small king, but switched it over, came out here to do some tile fishing, put together a decent catch, had a nice dolphin on for a little while, which came unglued. That was pretty cool though. Yeah, that was yeah. really cool. He came yeah. in, charged the bait right up next to the boat and just crushed that gog right yeah, he next was to the boat. And remember, make sure you're really well prepared, not only for plan A, but also for plan B and plan C. You never know when you're gonna have to switch it up throughout the day. And if you're not ready, if you don't have the right gear on board or the right mindset, you're just gonna be left really disappointed. So, hey, like I said, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. To learn more about the tactics and techniques seen on today's show, and to subscribe to Florida Sport Fishing Magazine, visit floridasportfishing.com and get hooked up.